Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Do you measure up? If you're a 40-year-old male police officer, you'd need to maintain a waistline no wider than 39 inches, run 1.5 miles under 15 minutes, and do at least 34 sit-ups and 21 push-ups in a minute each. This is just one example from the U.S. Air Force fitness standards, the same standards adopted locally by the Peace Officer Standards and Training Commission and now Guam law. Come December 2017, peace officers must come into compliance with the minimum fitness standards or face disciplinary action, possibly even termination. We're on board with the physical with the physical fitness program. We're on board with a test. We just need to come up with a test that uh, sets the officer up for success. While their job is to keep the island safe, Guam's peace officers are sweating bullets to come into compliance. Earlier this week, Chief of Police J.I. Cruz says the force rolled out their diagnostics tests. The two areas that are the most problematic are the timed 1.5 mile run as well as the abdominal circumference. So those are the areas where we're running into some problems. At a post-meeting held Thursday morning, agencies weighed in on the standards. Some peace officers reportedly are resistant or vocalized interest in retiring as a result of the minimum fitness standards. Airport Police Chief Robert Camacho serves as the post-commission chairman. When you first entered the law enforcement community, you had to go through a physical fitness test. Why would that change? Why would, why would that criteria not be uh, uh, no longer applicable to your job? description. This is a work in progress. You, you know, we're looking at it and saying, well, what's the best thing we can do? We, we've tried so far. Some, some uh, people have been tested and uh, they're having some struggles passing. So do we lower the standards to make everybody, uh, the average person, pass it? Or do we elevate it? That's still to be determined. Camacho says it's possible the commission could make some changes to the standards, but if necessary, may need to seek assistance from the Guam legislature to amend the 2014 law. In the end, if the police officers or if the law enforcement, if the peace officers are not in compliance, uh, there is the possibility that they may lose their, their accreditation, their uh, certification as police officers. So that could potentially be a problem. The different agencies will collect and present the data from the preliminary tests to the commission in coming months. While GovGuam does have a wellness program, Cruz notes it's not always easy for officers, who oftentimes work 12-hour shifts, to participate in physical training, especially when getting needed shut-eye is critical to fulfilling their duties. The next post-commission meeting is scheduled for June 9th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.